Yeah, it's so funny. I just like feel like the biggest fear is just walking in there unprepared because I am unprepared. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So I just throw on a Glicken t-shirt and just roll down there. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah, go to it. It's the worst that can happen. They say no. You know, you're out a little bit of time. Best that can happen is we're going to go out to Toronto and be on TV. What's your gut feel about it? I don't know. I get all excited when I think about it. Somebody explained it to me once. You feel like tension in your midsection then that's a sign that it's a no. And if you feel kind of like a releasing, but kind of butterflies feeling, then that's a sign that it's probably yes. I, I kind of use that a little bit, but I just know that my gut's really accurate. I, I would just encourage you to, you know, do a gut check and see what you think, because yeah, it might be the best opportunity of a lifetime, or it could be a distraction. <laughs> the big thing for me was just being able to strike it off my bucket list. Okay, I'm going for it. Never been done before. I'm gonna talk to you and snap, but I have no battery left. Well, I hit the submit button. Are you ready? And go. Thank you for applying. Audition schedule. Like it's tomorrow, I'm super late. <sighs> Thanks Jody for reminding me. Otherwise I would have missed it entirely. I had thought about it, but it, like it scares me because I don't know what to ask. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Somebody help me out with this, because like I feel almost sick to my stomach, but in a good way. It's like scary. Like maybe this is like the pivotal moment in time, and my ego had a hard time getting over letting go of part of Glicken because uh, it's my baby. And how would you feel giving up a part of your child? Not very good. Well, I feel exactly the same way, but. If you gave up a piece of your child and your child went on to do great things like go to university or something, you know, or like getting married, it's sad to give up, but like you, you know, it's your daughter and she's going to be happier. That's kind of how I feel with, with Glicken. Dragon Stan. I'm coming. Man, I don't know who's going to be on there, but I would love, love to deal with Arlene. Man, she would be perfect, I think. Okay, it's like the morning and I'm freaking out. I've been freaking out all day. Like my, I'm like nervous and sweaty and palmy. So yesterday I was like, do I do this? Should I do this? Obviously I need to do this because I wouldn't be so nervous about it. If it didn't matter, I just wouldn't care. I read that 3,000 people are gonna apply and they're only gonna pick 250. That means one out of 12 are actually gonna make it. That means I need to be better than 11 people to get a shot at this. So as cool as I think I am is the same as everyone else and I need to be that much better. But anyways, I started like printing that off. I don't know if you can see, well, you can see that. It looks terrible. So I put them all onto a chip and I'm gonna take that down to Staples and have a quick, have them print it. It is 10 to one, auditions close at five. I need to get moving. I got four hours to go down and make an impression. I gotta be awesome. Bye. Love you too. I'm making this video because when I looked for the audition information and like what it was like and what to expect, there wasn't any out there. So I wanted to make this video so that I'll be the last person that doesn't know what to expect at an audition. I don't know what to bring. I got a binder full of stuff. I got some promo extra shirts. I don't know. I got my own promo shirt. Let's. There it is. There it is. Minus 14. Okay. Would it be uncool if I got a drink before I went? <laughs> I feel like one drink would be so nice. I just want to like, you know, you know, okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just feeling way too nervous at the moment. I'm gonna get a car wash and uh, just in case they come out and see the truck. I mean, you wouldn't want to drive around with some old dirty truck, right? So I'm gonna clean it up just in case there's that small chance. I want them to know that I'm a professional and I care and I do those extra things and I go the extra mile because I am giving her, I'm not here just to make things work. I'm here to, well, maybe I am here to make things work, but I just don't stop, okay? <laughs> Oh, 
Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. I'm Travis. Hi, Travis. Is it okay if I like vlog and like show the experience of the audition and how that all goes? Our last audition is in right now. Okay. Oh no. Oh, you're. No. I want to go. I just also want to oh, like. Oh, you're going in. I just also want to like you know tell the story of yeah, how totally. my whole experience. Yeah. Yes. That's cool with you. That's Celine. That's a <laughs> friend of mine. Have you, <laughs> Have you registered online? I did register online. You're gonna go there. I highly recommend that you fill out the online form first. You don't fill it out online. You do have to fill it out there. So it's just so much easier to type it in at home. Then we just have a little bit of paperwork for you. You're gonna sign up here. Okay. And then fill out just the top part of this. And you are next in line. Sweet. Awesome. That doesn't, that like excites and scares me. <laughs> <laughs> it's two very nice young ladies that are yes. in there. Yes. Good. Yeah, it will be a fun experience. Ooh, look at that. I made it. Look where I am. I made it. Ah, okay. I'm not allowed to record, but I made it here. This is it. This yeah. is really all I wanted to show anyway was uh, right here. wish yeah. me luck. This is going to be cool. <laughs> So I walk in, I walk up into this hotel. I'm not sure how well it went. There was one lady who didn't say that much. And then you walk up and you fill out, you do have to fill out some paperwork here. Um, and then they took me from this room and took me down into the dragon's lair. I feel like I'm doing the walk of shame right now. Whatever, it was an experience and I'm here for the experience first, right? That's something you say when you fail at stuff. Just trying to think of the things I did wrong and the things I did right. I mean, I think it was exciting and energetic. I uh, just want to point out that it's a little bit long from here to here. It's kind of impersonal and then you're over here. So impersonal! Plus I was holding up my app design sheets and, you know, from this far away they were just so illegible. They did kind of laugh at me for having app pages. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have brought all the app pages with me. <laughs> she was just like, why are you showing me an app on sheets of paper? I printed them off so that they could take them with. I ended up in the middle, I like walked around. I want to point out, you are walking into a typical dragon's den. They specifically said right when I got there, uh, pretend this is the dragon's den and, and give us your pitch. This is no different. Know your stuff, know your numbers, all that kind of stuff. Remember always though that it's about having fun. Get in there, have a good time. And who knows, maybe I won them over with that. I certainly didn't win them over with my number. Glicken doesn't make any money, so what is there really to sell? I don't know why they would. You have to see and believe that Glicken is the greatest app ever, which it is, but will it make money? You know, they're coming from that side. Hi, my name is, this is what I'm offering, this is what I built. And then they started asking me questions. I really needed a glass of water. Just like on the show, it is the exact same thing. At the audition, you don't really have to sell because you're not closing anything. I mean, you should know your stuff. Whatever happened in there happened in there. It's over now. But it's more about the pitch. It's more about the entertainment value. It's more about whether you're good enough to be on camera. <laughs> so who knows? I might get gold. If you're planning on going on Dragon's Den, I totally think you should go for it. I think you should go for every opportunity that ever comes in front of you. Carry on, soldier. Subscribe to my channel if you want more of this kind of stuff. Okay.